everyone welcome back today I want to quickly I say quickly loosely but quickly discuss something with you I want to discuss these books that I picked up from the Dollar Tree I saw them on Instagram of course Instagram is my new best friend I guess and it's six of the art of mindfulness and this one is called refresh and um, inspired coloring this one is called Peace and Calm Coloring. This is called Relax and Focus Coloring. This one is called Joyful and Radiant Coloring. This one is called Serene and Tranquil Coloring. And this one is called Happy and Energized Coloring. Now, this books are a dollar. I went to Joanne Fabric last week and these books were fifteen dollars so this price right here or excuse me thirteen dollars is the price that Joanne Fabric is selling them for if you have a Dollar Tree near you and you want to pick some up so you can cut them up color them do whatever you like please 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 go over to the Dollar Tree and grab them before people buy them and try to resell them or people like me buy them and want to cut up and um, do other things with them. Um, I'm going to do a quick, quick, quick flip through. And the reason why I got this is because it's a lady in one of these magazines. And I'm going to do the flip through backwards because I'm left handed. And that's how I usually do my flip throughs for myself when I'm looking. Um, and so you only probably see this one page very well. Uh, I love this piece. What I'm going to be doing, the paper's okay. It's um, it's not perforated on the sides, but I'm going to be cutting these pages out and making some copies on some heavier paper to use. Um, I had told you before that I was not going to be buying a lot of coloring books, and here I have bought about 10 in the last couple of days, but I really, really wanted these. These are very cute jellyfish, um... I think the problem, in my opinion, this is pretty too, so you can just play around with this. You can try watercolor, and that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to get some watercolor paper and um, print, copy, and, and color on them like that. My problem with some of these magazines is that they have too much to color. Like, it's, so, it's super busy, um, and sometimes you don't have enough time, in my opinion, to color just sit there and color for about three hours like this right here this page is really busy in my opinion and it's going to take a lot of coloring um to do or maybe you can just pull out just random colors like you can say i'm only going to color 10 butterflies and they're all going to be purple i'm going to color the other three butterflies and they're all going to be red and like these flowers i'm only going to do one thing so you can definitely color them how you see fit um like I would never color that one because I just don't find it to be pleasing. But this shell um, is pretty cool. I would probably color all of these the same though. I probably color just one solid color or different shades of one color. These are very pretty. You can definitely do um, some wonderful pieces with this. And um, I've seen people on YouTube take a coloring book and make it look like a piece of art which it is but you know it made it look like it there on um, this frog is super cute very cute frog um, a lantern very simple plain and you know like this one right here you could definitely take cut it out you know make a copy of it I would definitely recommend making a copy of it um, cut it out and paper piece this onto another piece of, of craft that you're doing um, you know, get some fireflies to go along with it. These are raindrops, and this is just, you know, in my opinion, it's a little bit um, not energizing or happy. It's just weird, in my opinion. Um, but it's my opinion, I guess. Uh, yeah, like these two, I don't know if I would ever do anything with those besides color and cut up. But like this, this looks like the Amazon forest. You know, you got a snake, some toucans going on, a frog. Um, so that's really cool. Another shell on this side over here. Peace signs, some flowers. 
uh, underwater scene on this side. So, you know, that would be something that I would look into um, picking out the pages that you really, really want to color. And a lot of people that do have coloring books, they tend to pull their pages out once they color their pages and put them in their another book like a binder. Um, these are cute. I like these a lot. I would definitely do something with those and these butterflies as well. Um, cause you can definitely color these and cut them out and do stuff with, um, a lot of crafters that I've, that I follow, I guess, are very much into butterflies. So that's really cool. So that's the happy and energized. And now we're going to look at the serene and tranquil. And it's one of them that I really got. And it's a lady in here that I really want to, um, color and play around with, but I'm probably going to do more than one so this these I don't know if people that draw these peacocks know about peacocks but these two peacocks they look very girly but they're not girls at all they're boys boys have a big wide open beautiful tail of feathers girls tend to kind of look like this with a shortest thing and the guys have it so they can attract the women but right here, maybe these two guys are doing a face-off. But they look very feminine. You see the eyelashes. Um, so that's just something to be aware of when we're purchasing things. Like, you know, like that. If you're into it. If you're not and you like, that's fine. This little small, tiny village is very cute, in my opinion. Um, this is something that you can color and make into something different. Super cute. Hearts. Um, and these are all just random things that you can definitely color create different stuff with um, do things with like these little bunnies that would be cute it's like a little wreath you can cut that out and make a um, Easter wreath with that if you so choose to this owl Sylvia 51 NC likes owls um, so you know she got this coloring book and she colored I'm not sure if you do color Sylvia but if you do you know that would be something cool for you to do um, this super cute tree I would definitely spend the three or four hours coloring that um this lady right here i didn't even know she was in this one but look at her she is pretty and i can't draw to save my life but i love how they have this hair of hers or whatever i'm not even sure if she's a lady um honestly maybe this is her body right here I don't know but she has a, 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 a human face and all this rest of the stuff is so cute so very very pretty um, in regards to that so um, this lady is in here it's another magazine maybe it's the same one another book that has another lady in it that I want to show y'all so it's we've seen about three owls and this little kitty cat who's chilling he's saying I'm more awesome than you um, with his little smugness going on, which is very cute. Very, very awesome. Um, a lot of times when I see people post things on Instagram, I always ask them about it and they're just posting. I like to buy the stuff and actually use it or look through it. And I so appreciate people um, showing me where to go because I wouldn't go to some of the places that they post this stuff on. So I'm grateful for for them. Um, these little flowers, these are very cute, floating in some water. And I have been trying to figure out how I'm going to get my blue-green color on. So I think I'm going to have to find a teal colored pencil and just do it. I am going to probably run to the store at some point between now and the weekend because I want to get some metallic pencils and try to color metallic colors and this is joyful and radiant and these are very cute I hope you all don't mind that I am doing this if you do I guess you probably stopped watching the video by now um, but if you haven't I'm going to be giving one of these away um, tell me which one you like the best in the comment and I will do the drawing on Monday um, what day is that July they I'll figure that out I'll write the information in the comment section um, let me know and I'll I'm just gonna send this one mag one coloring book that you like the best um, so just write that in the comment section if you hung around 
that long with me. Um, and I'll do the drawing on Monday. This is cute. Very cute. I think very cute and cute are my favorite words right now. This looks like fall to me. It looks like a pumpkin that didn't is not finished forming yet. Um, but it's all those leaves and like these looks like plants. And some tulips. Um, a party. Some goose. Butterflies. Very pretty. This is cool. Uh, a lady. Um, very pretty. I would definitely color her. These fish. Another peacock. And this is a boy peacock. See, he kind of looks more masculine. Look at his face. Um, unlike those two we saw previously. Uh, an owl. Very cute. And this owl looks like it's about to go and eat some night crawlers. Some birds. More birds. I think the artist finds things that, you know, you can easily pattern up and color a lot on another peacock. This peacock definitely looks dainty. And this is so cool. Um, this reminds me of Carmen's fairy jar challenge that she's going to be coming up with shortly. Um, but you see it's in a jar. These butterflies are definitely in a jar. And they kind of look like they're underwater because these look like it's bubbles floating around it. So that's really, really pretty. Um, I'm going to have to figure out how I can open this magazine and take these pages out without tearing it. And I don't want to get an X-Acto knife and cut it. So I think I'm going to have to look at the seam, the binding a little bit better. And I'll probably put these in page protectors in one big binder and go from there. Um, some seahorses. Um, this is really pretty a yin yang sign. I like this a lot. Um, it reminds me of an etch a sketch. Sun, some rays, or you could be going into like a tunnel, you know, and it has all this stuff out. Really cute. Another little bird. A butterfly. And this kind of looks like it has eyes, but it doesn't. It's just the yin yang sign. These fox. They're like, yes, we know we're awesome. Color us. Um, some sea life going on right there. Another peacock. Lots of peacocks in this one. Lots of peacocks in it. And it had fish. So it's more birds than sea, sea creatures. And this one is called Relaxed and Focus. And we have two more. So hopefully we can make it through. And I'll try to flip more, talk less. Unless I see something that really catches my eye. look at this seahorse. I'm definitely going to color this. It doesn't have a lot of junk around it. Very cute. Um, I could color these, cut them out. So that's why you really need to make copies of your pages because you don't want to color. You know, you may want to do something in toucan. Different. This looks like a Christmas tree. See how it's shaped. So we have a tree of flowers and butterflies and little birds. This peacock is amazing. Um, this looks like a two-piece. Like they just carried it on over. So that's cute. Looks like a little fairy. A garden. Some ladies' sons, I guess, hanging out. And this one has more of like just patterns in it. So that's really cool. These mountains reminds me of Adventure Time. Um, Ice King. I haven't watched Adventure Time in a long time. Um, some nesting dolls. Only it's just one, but that's what it, it is. It would have been cool if they would have put, you know, like a whole bunch around it maybe, but they didn't. And I'm no artist to draw, so. Some hands. Henna hands maybe. 
another peacock. I think this artist loves peacocks. Another one. Some eyes. Got my eye on you. Um, dolphins. Some fish. Yin Yang sign again. Some bunnies looking up at the tree. Smugly. Um, this is a heart. Cool. Um, some hot air balloons. And this is the beginning page of it. And these were made in Canada. Um, so if you're in Canada, maybe you know the artist. Or maybe you get it cheaper than we do at a local store. Which is strange because it says Canada, the price is $15. And the U.S. price is 13 Okay, so this one is Peace and Calm. And then we have one more left. And then we'll be done with this um, flip through of these magazine uh books i keep saying magazines and this paper is a little bit feels a little bit to be a little bit thicker than the previous pages some leaf some oh my goodness um feathers not leaves feathers i always do that i love these little teacups um i'm gonna try not to talk so much maybe we can make this uh, a under 20 minute video strawberries yum 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 a tree I like I like both of these pictures very cute cool I like this hand I'm not into eyeball creations like that it just kind of weirds me out I don't know why. I just it just weirds me out. Um, another hot air balloon scene. Some more waves over here on this side. I guess this kind of looks like a cornfield or grass that needs to be cut. I'm not even sure what's going on over here, but it's pretty and it'll look beautiful colored. Um, up a bird, a dove. I guess this is a dove. Uh, owl sleeping hanging out more leaves and birds the ocean this ocean looks ferocious the wind is at the top blowing and this water is just unsettled right now another little rabbit um, cool very cool these magazines in my opinion are not worth $13 but for a dollar yeah very worth it. So I got these six magazines for half the price of one of the magazines. So if you, I got this one for this lady right here. She reminds me of Steven Universe's mom, Rose Carts. And she's very pretty. Also, Moina, Moana, I think it's Moana. That's how you pronounce her name. Uh, the lady that, you know, in the story. She kind of looks like her too, that goddess. Um, so yeah, very pretty. So I got this one. That's why I went on search for it. But then I was like, hey, these are all pretty cool that I could do different things with. Um, I'll probably make cop look over it the weekend, make some copies next week sometime, and color and create something with you all. Um, and that's the last page of that one. So the 10th, I think Monday is the 10th, whatever the day, um, July 10th, 2017 is, is the day I'll do the drawing. So whatever day that is, that's when I'll do the drawing. So you can choose between one of these coloring books and I'll send you out the coloring book. And if I can get to the store and get some not too expensive color pencils, you know, like a 12 pack, I'll send you a coloring pencil pack as well, but definitely the coloring book. Um, I can't be sure about the color pencils because my, uh, I have some craziness going on in my life right now that I hope not to share with you all. This is beautiful, super cute, very, very 
pretty the way they have it drawn and then over here is super pretty as well definitely I would definitely fussy cut a fuzzy cut this out and put it on something all of these three pages so far are very pretty another peacock um, that's cute too I could I can definitely see myself doing something with that one as well um, so a few pages I definitely want to cut out and and play around with this is pretty as well and you know you could definitely put this on a um, some hard paper cardstock color it and put some sentiments around it and frame it and give it to somebody um, I like that idea a lot these little fish this one probably is my most favorite so far um, I'm not a big peacock person I do like peacocks but I think I'm just overwhelmed by all the peacocks that are in here in all of the Mac in all of the coloring books so many so July 10th is the day I'm going to do the drawing just write the, the coloring book you like the best at the bottom um, I'll do the drawing July 10th then you'll have 24 hours to contact me if you don't contact me I'll go on to the next person um, if anyone is actually interested in winning you know getting this because it is a dollar you could probably go to the Dollar Tree yourself but if it's free I like this I like that one it's very pretty but if it's free you know you can definitely get some you can use your dollar for something else maybe the color pencils that I may not be able to send to you if I don't find any that I like um, but it, it'll probably be from Walmart the color pencils this is cute it looks like a little village um, in my opinion it's like a little village so yeah cute so yep I think this one is my most favorite coloring book of all of them they just seem to have a little bit more more pattern things but less of all of that you know it's more like refined you can color just that even with this swan you know it has a lot of color it's just focus on the swan whereas the other ones were like this all over the place and even this is cute because you can color you can just take this one good star out of the picture and do something with that I like this little fish page butterflies I like that a lot I think we've seen this image before already in this coloring book um, cute dolphin jumping out the water hanging out a little elephant going on over there very pretty very pretty in my opinion Okay, so that is all, and that was the Refresh and Inspired Coloring Book. The other one is Peace and Calm, Relaxed and Focus, Joyful and Radiant, Serene and Tranquil, and Happy and Energized. Thank you all for watching. I hope you're having a great day, a great week, a great month, and hopefully this year is treating you way better than it's treating me. Thank you all for watching. Happy crafting.